Hello friends, my name is Adwe Mayank. I secured 99.98 percentile in JE mains January shift of 2025. I also secured 100 percentile in mathematics. Since the beginning, I have been very interested in mathematics. Also, when I got into classes 9th and 10th, I started getting a lot of interest in physics as well. That's why I started my journey to prepare for JE examination. So when I realized that JE was one of the toughest exams in the country, I thought about taking it as a challenge for myself to test my dedication, hard work and perseverance. Also, uh, uh, my dream is to get into IIT and pursue computer science engineering as it provides a great atmosphere to advance my skills in these fields. So I would attend my classes and create comprehensive notes for them. When I got home, I would revise those notes and solve related questions as homework. Then once I had built enough confidence, I would tackle the difficult problems including the previous year questions of the chapter. Also, I never missed any tests. I always gave those tests even if I was less prepared. And when I had poor results in those tests, I would not feel demotivated. I would discuss my faults in the test with my teachers and they would motivate me. So my teachers were very important, they played a major role. They would cover the concept in detail, they would guide us to navigating difficult problems that would come in tests and they were always ready to accept my doubts. Uh, when I scored less marks in tests, they would motivate me to do better and they would also give me certain advice. In the last months, my main focus was on solving as many mock tests as possible. I would try to replicate the exam conditions at home, even giving the paper at the same time as in the actual exam and solving the papers on my laptop. Also, my other focus was to read NCRT for inorganic chemistry and other topics. I would find the areas where I was lacking at in mock tests and then I would try to fix my mistakes in the next test. I noticed that once I had studied for a certain amount of time, such as 2-3 hours, I would start feeling exhausted. In these times, I would find a leisure activity such as listening to music. Sometimes I even went down to play outdoor sports such as cricket and football. You must know that once you are feeling exhausted and overburdened by your studies, you need to take a break to recharge your mind. Also, it is advisable to not use social media during these times and keep your mind fresh. I knew that once I was preparing for JE, which is quite a difficult examination, my concept base was getting very strengthened and I need not prepare those chapters again for board exams. For English and computer science, I would regularly give the unit tests in my school and that would cover the syllabus thoroughly in time. So I would advise my juniors to stay focused, stay dedicated towards their goal. They should stay away from distractions such as social media. Also, they should work hard in these two years to develop a good career for themselves in the future. When they score less marks in mock tests, they should not worry about it. They should instead double down and devote their efforts towards increasing their score. All the best. Thank you.